guys. Have you ever been working in your vault and need a way to update missing references or broken references or references outside of your PDM vault? Today's Q-tip is for you. So let's jump into this. Today's Q-tip is focusing on built-in functionality directly inside SOLIDWORKS PDM. Normally, whenever you're wanting to replace a broken reference or a missing reference, you would open the SOLIDWORKS model using the open command. You would navigate to the files that are in the reference tree, and then you would replace them that way. This is built-in functionality right inside SOLIDWORKS PDM. You find it under Tools, Update References. It offers you several bits of functionality here. You actually have a few options to work with. You can replace the existing references with other references inside the vault, or you can, if there are files outside of your vault that are being referenced, you can bring them into the PDM vault, or you can update just missing references in, in general. This is just a simple assembly that has three components in it. Right now, the contains tree in PDM only shows two, but I know that SOLIDWORKS assembly actually shows three. How do I know that? Because I actually moved one of the files outside from the reference tree outside PDM. Now, let's just make a quick distinction here. You've got two types of references. There's PDM references that PDM knows about that are maintained in the PDM database, and then there's the SOLIDWORKS references that are maintained inside the file, um, inside a reference tree, inside the SOLIDWORKS file. And so whenever you bring data into PDM, PDM only knows about the references that SOLIDWORKS tells it about. But if you have users that ever save files outside of your PDM vault so that you've got references that are pointing outside your vault, you may need to replace those at various times. Let's figure out how this works. I'm going to copy this path for simplicity's sake so that I can paste it into the Browse dialog. I'm going to click Open, paste that right up there in the address bar. Then I'm going to go to the file. I always use details, by the way, because I've got all the metadata out here and I can, I can sort by it. If I select this assembly, and then I go down to the References button, this will show me the last time that SOLIDWORKS was saved, these were the references that were in the file. As you can see, we have three, this channel, this mounting channel, and another channel. All right, so the one that's missing is this bottom one, because if you look at the Contains tab inside PDM, it only shows this mounting channel and then this four-inch channel down here. The six-inch channel is missing because this assembly was last saved with that file outside PDM in the CAD files folder. So let's click Cancel and Cancel, Minimize here, and let's go take a look at how the Update References tool works. Select Tools and Update References. PDM will check out the file and generate a reference tree and then display a list for us. At this point, let's expand it a little bit we have one file that's showing up outside of PDM. Add files to vault. If I click on this button, it brings up an, a nice dialog for me, and it's going to ask me where I want to add the file to. We've got lots of options and lots of functionality here. Let's go ahead and add this under the CAD, lib under the CAD folder, and let's add it just to Equivocute. That I think that would be a great place for it. We'll click Next. And right now, it shows that we'll be able to add this file. It shows that it's adding the file to the vault. Whenever this operation is complete, this box will go away, and we will see a message that it's, the file was successfully added to the vault, and then the reference was modified. Let's say that this file we want to replace with a different reference of one that's already inside PDM, so we can do a replacement. All we would have to do then is select the file, and then click Replace File. Then we can navigate to a file inside PDM. We know that this is the one that's in there that we're referencing right now, and it is the 4-inch aluminum channel. I want to reference the 6-inch aluminum channel, or maybe even the bar. So let's go ahead and select this flat bar. It's made out of SS uh, stainless steel 304. Click Open. It's going to check out this file so that it can update its header, and then it will replace it for us. Okay, so we've actually used the functionality for adding the file to the vault if it's outside PDM. We've shown you how to replace an existing reference, but let's say that there's a reference that's broken here and we want to go find it somewhere in the vault. Well, we would then select Find Files. When you select Find Files, PDM offers you a window to select where to search. So let's just say that we're going to search in Equivocue Library. 
and I only want to search for the files listed with warnings. That means we only want to search among the files that have a possibly a missing reference warning. That's why you would check that box. Only search for the selected file. That's correct. I don't want to search for all the rest of these. I just want this was 92875. And then I want to search in all subfolders. So let's click Next. And if it finds it, it'll show it to us in this window. But it also says, well, this one, the file wasn't found. All right, so it's trying to, it's referenced by this assembly, referenced as this. So basically, this is how you would go and find new files in your vault if you're wanting to fix or update your references in your assembly. All right, whenever we're done with the operations that we've completed here, we would click Update. The updating process fixes the references for us and leaves the file in a checked out state. So let's click on the file, right click, we're going to check in and just put in a comment of updated references. You'll notice that the flat bar is now in there and then this is a new file because we added it to the vault and it's added in the PDM, uh, demo PDM CAD EquiviQ folder. As soon as the file checks in, the contains tab will update for us. So now we see we've got the 92875, we've got the flat bar, and then we've got the new channel that's in there. If I go to SolidWorks and open this file, use File Open, once I select this assembly and click References, you'll notice that my reference tree is now updated. I now have the flat bar in there. My 92875 is still in there because this reference was replaced by, you know, that channel is now the flat bar. And then the aluminum channel that is now showing the 6 inch. So that's all great. We've got the references in there. Once I click OK and I go through the open process, it's going to ask me if I want to check the file out. I'm going to select no. And again, the whole tree looks good now. But there's going to be an internal ID that won't match because the file that I replaced, the flat bar, or excuse me, this uh, channel that's being replaced with this flat bar doesn't match the internal ID of the file that was in there before. And that can be a problem. So just keep these things in mind whenever you're needing to update references in your SOLIDWORKS models. SOLIDWORKS PDM has the power to update your references for you without opening SOLIDWORKS. Hopefully today's Q-tip has been helpful for you. Believe in the Q.